Hi, once again, you're watching Panther TV. Today I'm here with one of the most outstanding individuals, one, one of the most intellectual and one of the most uh, amazing person I've known for the past five years. He's like an elder brother to me and uh, he has helped me through a lot of other difficulties. When I need somebody to talk to, I call him. So today he's here with us in the studio. But before we continue, I, wanted, I want him to introduce himself to us. Hello. Hi. So uh, can you introduce yourself to us? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is David. Uh, for now, I'm um, an uh, engine professional sports, although at the amateur level, as a career, and uh, I'm also an entrepreneur. David, <laughs> but you're an actor, you forgot to mention that you're an actor. Well, it's, it's part of the entrepreneurship. Okay, <laughs> so uh, tell us, David. Uh, how how did you find yourself in Ukraine? Uh, actually, I first I first came for, for studying, you know, and then it, it really all automated into so many other things, uh, and I found myself in the world of uh, sports, uh, acting, modeling, uh, and, and business lately. So. Okay. So how is everything going so far? The stuff you have mentioned, an actor, entrepreneur, and um, sports uh, amateur. How do you? Um, uh, it, it, it's, it's, well, you, like how I say, life is on the move, and I can see the progress, I would say everything is progressing. Uh, of course, I've not got to the point I want to be at, uh, um, you know, with my life, but the good thing is that there's progress. That's progress. That's progress. So, uh, you know, it's actually an amazing stuff. Like somebody came from another song from other thing, and then you actually be able to achieve this thing. Because according to, as I, as I understand, you might be coming for this thing, and then you achieve this thing. Because now this is the achievement I'm saying. Like, How are you going like, to watch it? Yeah, no, life, life, life works like that, you know. Uh, you just like, uh, you're going to point A, like you're saying, and then, but as you're, you know, going through uh, the journey, you actually. Uh, discovering all the, the, the things that life has to offer using life in different lenses and uh, especially experience based and that also creates a new path for you so you naturally understand that uh, part A or destination A might not just be your limit uh, you could or may not even be your like preferred destination you probably want your own path so it, it just develops and uh, yeah so what would your real plan be? If it's, a, if it's not a secret. No, no I, I, I came here to study uh, medicine. Medicine. Yeah. So now a medical doctor, if you are going to be a medical doctor, right? Or you are a medical doctor. Yeah, I should, I would say most supportive builder, most intelligent individual. But let's talk about what f favorite career you have right now that you think you love. Uh, well, sport has always been a big hobby, right? Uh, but the thing is, uh, I also see it as a means uh, of business. So. In that regard, I'll put, I'll put, you know, sports first. But also going back to the analogy we had earlier mm -hmm. of uh, you know following a path and then yeah. discovering another path. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say really business is taking me on a while right now. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoy that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, uh, listen. Is it because of the lockdown? That's why businesses is one of your your favorite right now. Oh, many people know that. But I've, been, I've been into business like before the lockdown. After I've been officially three years in business now. Wow. Yeah. So yes, I've cracked it. I've cracked it. Um, and uh, and uh, I'm having the process. And. Uh, um, uh, like I was saying, how did you balance both of all this career? Because now I notice that you love uh, the business so much. So imagine that now you are a sport person and you are becoming an entertainer as well, and a modeling agency and a film as well. Mm -hmm. So before we talk about your film, I want you to tell me how can you balance both right now? Um, you don't see this work. Uh, I don't see this work. Um, sometimes you basically have to be up, up and running 16, 18 hours a day. But if you really enjoy it, like I do, uh, I really don't see myself working. Uh, and my body adjusts to it as well. So it's not really a question of uh, like balancing it like mm -hmm. uh, it's too difficult for me. It's really not. I'm having a hell of a good time. So let, let's do this work. Right? Yeah. If you are being actual right now, what is the most difficult? Is you working for uh, working for somebody or doing what you love? What is more difficult? Which are both of something you act prove or you love so much to do? So let's say you've been working for people so much, right? And then these two things, 
Brendan, Brendan is the other thing. What do you think is the most amazing thing? Uh, Am I not asking the question correct? No, no, I get the <laughs> question. Like, working for my girl. Like from 9 to 5. Yeah. 9 to 5 and all this thing. Which one is more difficult? You see, there's a problem here. Yeah. This is a conundrum, I say. Yeah. Working for someone is basically uh, a means to get to the level where I want to have people working for me. So it's like a capital. Exactly. So kind of like, I, I see that working for someone as as means to an end. And the end is actually the ultimate goal of having an organization that uh, is systemized and working on its own and under me and then for me, like developing a source of uh, a passive or steady, consistent uh, passive income for myself. Uh, so once again, I, I, I'm not in a position where I can say well, specifically, I don't uh, can you just tell us a little bit about the entertainment uh, for you that it is right now? Mm, how do you mean? Like, um, describe um, how, what difficulties you're facing through entertainment. Uh, well, once again, I enjoy it. Uh, but, you know, the challenge you, you have there is time. Uh, if you're talking about movies, for example, you have to find a good agency. Uh, the good thing is we have uh, almost students or most foreigners here work through Planter agency, uh, which is pretty good, or well, makes it easier to bridge the gap between the, the, the uh, casting and all of that. So, but another thing also is that you know you gotta go for a lot of casting, you gotta be present, you have to be there, and it, it really has to be a priority for you, right? So, uh, time it's one of the major issues in that aspect. You know, as you are talking about time, um, that's the reason why I came up with about this website, and I'm trying to do. Uh, I just want all the foreigners to be included in it. Mm -hmm. So um, you cannot go for casting, you can just do your video professionally, introduce yourself, all the videos in it, and they put it on the website. Mm -hmm. So when they needed you, they would just come and call you, so the time will be shorter for you going to casting and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, you know? But uh, tell us about, about a little bit about the movie or videos you have done in this country, right? that you, the ones that you love so much. A story about it. <laughs> Yeah, I've actually I have uh, enjoyed uh, most of the story uh, behind like uh, some of my work, uh, but I know like uh, professionally we had uh, with you with the company as well. Yeah. Uh, two day, two years ago, uh, uh, blind car couple, blind car. <laughs> let me go. Let me go. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, exactly. Really no, there's good. a lot of project. A lot of project you've done. That it was really great. Okay. Uh, I really think uh, you know it's not about the cinematography here. It's basically more about the story that was okay. behind it. So okay. I, I played uh, the, the foreigner in Ukraine, uh, and then at the end of the day, he met a uh, beautiful Ukrainian girl. You know, go into a relationship with her, and then has to you know go back and forth with uh, the racist boy, ex boyfriend. Okay and uh, all of that but i really really enjoyed that because it was more of an extensive work for me and uh, you know there was more you know more foreign uh, casts okay. involved in that okay so it was a little bit different than what i was used to okay yeah.